Hey there, it's Jeff with Train 4x4 Adventures coming back to you with another product review of items that are designed to make our van life experience more enjoyable. So today I'm coming back to you again to talk about insulated window coverings for your van. So uh, those of you that subscribe to my channel, you may recall that I had done a review of a set that I had picked up about six or eight months ago, and I'll, I'll leave a, a link up there to where you can uh, take a look at that if you like. But uh, initially I was very satisfied and uh, was really impressed with that set that I got. Um, it was very lightweight, uh, the, had very strong magnets that kept it in place and that was the problem that we had with our, uh, the ones that came with our Jayco Terrain is that they were really heavy, they wouldn't stay in place, they'd fall down and the only way to keep them in place was to literally open the door and uh, jam them in the door jam, which obviously isn't ideal, particularly if it's raining outside. So, um, like I said, the set that I got, I was initially really impressed, um, you know, did a review that was uh, very positive on those. Um, but after I've used them for a bit, I've discovered that uh, they really are a little bit weak on the insulative qualities and they work well to keep the sunlight out. But for me, what's really important is I want something that's gonna really help manage the temperatures, particularly in the winter time. We use our van a lot to go skiing and uh, we had been out on a ski trip and got into uh, minus six degree temperatures. And even with the max air fan going and the window cracked to let in some ventilation and keep the, uh, keep the moisture down, uh, we ended up with a uh, frozen windshield several nights and really was a pain to have to scrape all that ice off in the morning before we headed out going skiing. So it really was telling that um, it seemed like those uh, window coverings were having, you know, kind of a bit of a hard time to, to keep keep that uh, the temperatures uh, regulated. So anyhow, I was out at the Adventure Van Expo in Colorado about a month ago, and I stopped in to talk to the guys at, uh, at Van Essential. And I kind of told them my story, and they chuckled a bit, and, uh, and they showed me their window coverings and uh, showed me actual cutaways of their window coverings and then also um, the brand that I had picked up before with a couple of other competitors and you could really tell the difference in the type of insulation that's that's used. The Van Essential uh, window coverings uh, are much thicker insulation. I'm not sure of the materials. It's an, it's an automotive grade insulation but you could just tell off the bat that uh, they just look to be uh, much higher quality as far as um, having the ability to keep those temperatures regulated, keep those hot temperatures out in the summer, keep the cold temperatures out in the winter, which is again, very important. I wanna be able to black out completely um, and have that privacy and, uh, and kind of be able to stealth camp when, when I need to. And, uh, and certainly these window coverings will do that for you. But most important to me is something that has good insulation values in the Van Essential uh, product definitely appeared to have that. So so they were kind enough to send out an entire set uh, for me to, to try out and demo. And I've had them on the van for a couple of days and uh, came out this morning with the sun really hot and the inside temperature of the van was, was actually really mild. It was really nice. So I could tell that they were working. So um, they were kind enough to send out a, a complete set, including the back windows, um, so I've got the front windshield, the two side windows, uh, a cover for the for the Max Air fan, and uh, like I said, first impressions very positive. The uh, the differences being again, aside from just the insulation qualities, is just the material that um, they're built they're built with. It's a much more uh, dense uh, nylon. Look like it looks like it's going to last much longer. The other ones had kind of a thin uh, nylon covering, look pretty, um, but I'm not sure whether those would stand up to a, a lot of use, uh, such as the Van Essential window coverings. So, so far so good. Let me take you on a little tour of, of the different covers and how they fit and uh, share with you my impressions, but so far it's been very positive. All right, so here's a look at the window coverings um, up front. And as you can see, they fit in very, very snug up here and like I said very strong magnets holding them in place the challenge with these vans is that there's not a whole lot of metal to grab onto so it's critical to have some really good magnets in there and 
these uh, staying real snug. You got a little cutaway for the handle down here um, so they can tuck in really nicely and do a good job of keeping all the light out. And then as far as the front windshield cover goes, really good fit as well. There are some uh, tie down clips if you don't have, um, or you can actually clip them into the headliner to hold them in place. I think this is designed for vans that don't have a rear view mirror. Uh, this one has magnets that kind of snug around the rear view mirror to keep it in place. So no need to use these guys, they just hang there. Um, but really good fit up front. And so let me go show you the uh, vent cover. Don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but I got a vent cover as well. So let me take a look. Let's take a look at that one as well. All right, so here's the vent cover and some of you may wonder whether this is even necessary. Um, it is for two reasons. Number one, again, the insulative qualities, but uh, I leave a vent cover on all the time while I'm driving because uh, you can get some pretty good road noise coming through this, this Max Air fan. So a um, couple of magnets that go up into the frame. So there's four screws um, that you just unscrew this frame down, set these magnets up in place in there, and then this guy will just snug right in. So what I like about it is that I can just keep it up there and pull it down like it is now and run the fan, or if I'm not running the fan, just keep it in place. All right, so here we are at the rear window. And as you can see, those shades are cut and sewn perfectly to fit these windows. They, um, again, really good, high quality uh, materials they use. Um, very robust, solid. They do mount on magnets that you do need to put into place. Uh, it wasn't a big deal. It took me, I'm saying maybe 10 minutes aside to get all these various magnets in, but they're gonna stay in nice and snug. Not gonna fall out at all. So yeah, totally gonna block out all the light and keep us nice and toasty in the winter and keep us cool in the summertime. So the other thing I uh, forgot to mention is that um, they do include storage bags for all of these, including even the vent cover. Um, so I've got a whole set of storage bags. So when it's time to take these out and put them down, uh, we can store them nice and neatly. So, so there you go. Hopefully you found this video to be helpful. Um, I will leave a link in the description of uh, where you can get to the Van Essentials website uh, to get some more information and uh, possibly pick up a set for yourself. But so far it looks really good. I'm really happy. Definitely um, much more insulated, insulated than uh, the other shades that I had. And so I think we're going to be keeping those temperatures hot and cold out of the van much better than what we had before. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, guys, take care and we will see you out on the trail.